All right. Hey, today I've got another SEO writing.ai video. And specifically, what I want to talk to you about is a function in the tool called the introductory hook brief. So here we are in the dashboard. If you use SEO writing, you know most of the time you're going to be using a one click blog post. So we'll open that up. And I'm not going to enter anything in here. Let's just go right to the introductory hook brief section and talk about that. It's right under structure. It's called introductory hook brief. You can start your article with a question, a statistic or fact, quotation, anecdote or story, or some personal or emotional type story. So what does this mean? So hooks in the introduction are designed to pique the reader's curiosity and encourage them to continue reading the rest of the content. What the introductory hook brief is meant to do is draw a reader into your article and hopefully get them to read further. And maybe that's going to cause them to sign up for your newsletter, or maybe they're going to purchase a product through an affiliate link, that kind of thing. Like I said, you've got these various hook briefs that you can use. For example, the question hook brief, what SEO writing does is it puts in a prompt already. So craft an intriguing question that immediately draws the reader's attention. It needs to be a relevant question. It needs to evoke curiosity. Aim to make the reader reflect or feel compelled to find the answer within the article. So any of these prompts, you can add to them if you want to. And I'm going to show you five different introductions from five different articles that I wrote so you can see what these look like. If you choose the statistical or fact introductory brief, it just starts with some kind of fact or statistic to try to draw people in. Obviously, a quotation. I'll show you how that works. It's just a thought-provoking quote from a well-known figure. An anecdote or story. It's going to create a brief, engaging story or anecdote that is relevant to the topic. Personal or emotion. Write an emotionally resonant opening that connects personally with the reader. The first article that I want to show you is one that uses the question introductory hook brief. Again, remember that's craft an intriguing question that draws the reader's attention. I'll go to the builder here. I wrote this article. It's called Top Flowers to Plant for Attracting Hummingbirds. In this case, it says, imagine a colorful garden buzzing with beautiful hummingbirds. They move from one flower to the next, drinking nectar. To bring these amazing birds to your garden. Picking the right flowers is essential. Then it goes through and it talks about, you know, what hummingbirds like. They like bright colors. And the only thing that I don't like about this introductory hook brief that they created is these last two paragraphs. These two paragraphs here, I would delete because I don't want my introduction to be too long. The next article I created used that introductory hook brief that was dealing with a statistic or a fact. So begin with a surprising statistic or an unexpected fact. I wrote this article, Why Are Hybrid Vehicles a Better Choice for Consumers? And it starts right off with a very intriguing fact. Did you know hybrid vehicles can go up to 600 miles of range on one tank of gas? This shows that they're very fuel efficient and versatile. They're great for people looking to save money and use less on fossil fuels. So then it goes in and talks a little bit about hybrids, their gas engines with an electric motor, a couple more paragraphs that lead you into the article, and then it drops into the main portion of the article. But that is that intriguing fact or statistic was this first sentence. And I like it, and it drew me in. And, and actually, I even went back to the citation here to see if that's really the case. And there really is a hybrid vehicle that can go up to 600 miles of range. So I found it intriguing and useful. And let's go ahead, go back to the dashboard. We'll go ahead and look at this next introductory hook brief that we're going to look at. And the next one is a quotation. Now, when you're using the quotation one, remember you need to be thinking about your article and will there actually be a quotation that is out there that can be used? So if you were writing about an historical figure or somebody that's famous, a sports figure, that kind of thing, that's where you'd use this quotation one. So when you look at it, it's a powerful or thought-provoking quote from a well-known figure. 
I'll go back up to Builder. Let's look at the article that I wrote. Why is John F. Kennedy such a popular president? And it just starts right, right off the bat. For the great enemy of truth is very often not the lie, deliberate, contrived, and dishonest, but the myth, persistent, persuasive, and unrealistic. And that's a quote from John F. Kennedy. And then it goes in and it has a few more paragraphs about who he is, why he was important, and then goes into the article itself. You just need to remember if you're going to use the quote for the introductory hook brief, it needs to be some kind of quote that's from a famous person or figure uh, so SEO writing knows what to do and can find that data and build that introduction for you. Let's go back out to the next introductory hook brief example. In this case, anecdote or story. So create a brief, engaging story or anecdote that is relevant to the article's main subject. This story should be relatable and set the stage for the main content. Now remember, this is something that's put in by default. You can add additional prompting to this. So I'll show you what I did, for example, in this next article. Um, I'm going to go to Builder. And I wrote an article, Why is Fly Fishing So Addictive? And it just created the story. The fresh mountain air was invigorating as I stepped into the cold stream. My fly rod was ready. I made my first cast. I was full of excitement, ready for my first fly fishing experience. And when my fly landed on the water, I waited eagerly, and suddenly a shining trout took the bait. So I just wrote this little story. Let me show you how I prompted this. So all I did is, in the introductory hook brief, I just added an additional sentence. It should be about the first time a fisherman catches trout on a fly. So that's all I added, and then it created that story, and it was specifically about the first time a fly fisherman catches a fish on a fly. So let's go ahead, go back, and see the next introductory hook brief. In this case, it's a personal or emotional one. Write an emotionally resonant opening that connects personally with the reader. Let's see the article that I created for that and how I use that introductory hook brief. I wrote an article, Tips for Dealing with Your Child's First Day at School. I really like these AI images that SEO writing is pulling into these articles. Very nice. Standing in the preschool classroom doorway, my son's hand tightly in mine, I felt both pride and fear. The first step into the world outside our family was major, despite knowing it was needed for his growth. I was scared of separation anxiety. And then it talks about getting ready to go to school that day, just drawing the reader into this story. Uh, I think this picture helps a lot too, um, but that's how that introductory hook brief works. And let's go ahead and see what I did to the prompt. I added one additional sentence. Talk about how it felt to drop off a child on their first day of school. So that's all I added to that prompt. I just want you to be aware that when you're using these introductory hook briefs, don't be afraid to add some additional prompting so you get exactly what you want. That's how introductory hook briefs work. Uh, I think they're useful for drawing readers into a blog post, getting them excited about reading the totality of your article. If you don't use SEO writing and you're curious about its pricing, you also can start as low as $14 a month. And then they have another plan that's $59. You can get them billed yearly, billed monthly. Just remember that if you decide to buy SEO writing, I have a significant discount of 25%. So go into the description of this video, use my SEO writing link and my discount code so you can get 25% off your subscription for SEO writing. I hope you found this video helpful. And until next time, take care.